Uh, good morning, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Fausto, and I am going to present my final project. This is divided in two parts. In the first one, I am going to present five critical concepts. And in the second one, I will share you how we can, uh, we can do all classes applying some methods and strategies learned during we stay here. The first concept, the first criti uh, critical concept that I will refer to is the PRISM model. As you can see, the PRISM model is a fundamental theory of biography driven instruction. The PRISM model has four, uh, four dimensions. Social cultural dimension is the heart of language uh, acquisition and learning. Social cultural dimension is the determinant factor of the children's attitude. The second one is linguistic. Linguistic dimension focus on the productive and receptive skills. As you know, language is a means of communication. So students need to learn language or communication. In the, four, in the third one, we have the cognitive dimension. <coughs> The cognitive, the cognitive dimension focuses on the level of the knowledge that the students have after they come to classes. In the last one, we have the academic dimension. The academic dimension refers exclusively to the contents area that the students learned during their stay in the school. That is the relation between students and teacher. The second one, I will talk about the background. The background is all the information that the students have. Um, the students have. Remember, the students the students have a lot of information related to their home, to their uh, community, and to their schools. When I talk about the home, I refer to forms of the knowledge. The forms of knowledge emphasize at home. The prior knowledge uh, refers to the community, the, rela the relationship between the teachers and the students again, the community. The third one is the academic knowledge. The academic knowledge refers exclusively to the, the, academic, uh, the academic things that students get with the, in the classroom especially the interaction teacher, student, student, teacher. Uh, that relationship, the teacher should look for some strategies, some alternatives in order to keep that relation. That is the communicative approach. The communicative approach uh, focus on learning language through the community, through and for the communication. As I mentioned before, language is the mean of communication. So students have to use the language for a purpose, the communication. This, uh, this approach has a lot of methods, the strategies and techniques which help teachers to get an interactive classroom in order to get uh, and in, uh, in order to encourage uh, students to participation. The comprehensible input. The comprehensible input are all the external and internal factors that refer to the students. The comprehension input provides the students with appropriate opportunities in the level of a language competence. Uh, that means that uh, Teacher, uh, we as teacher should be creative in order to get a good environment in the classroom. When I talk about the environment, I refer to the classroom ecology. The classroom in ecology involves the interconnected structure arrangement and events that influence students and teacher actions and the relationship in the classroom. Don't forget, we are teachers. We are working 
with person. We are forming person. We are not forming machines. So the relationship in the classroom, teacher, student, is the most important thing when you decide to be a teacher. As a conclusion, being here in Valparaiso, being here in the old teacher program, help to improve our knowledge, help to learn new things in order to get new citizens, Ecuadorian citizens, with a good perspectives for the future. Thank you very much. The second part that I am going to refer to is the class practice, the practice class, right? Okay. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Fine. 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 I don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> How are you today? Fine. Fine. Yeah. Okay. Stand up, please, in order to. Fine. You get some fine and say, oh, oh, an order, man. Please sit down again. Listen to me. When I say one, two, three, you have to stand up very fast. Okay? Yeah. okay. Listen to me. One, two, three, stand up. Look at that. Stand up. <laughs> repeat again. Repeat again. Okay? Listen again. One, two, three, stand up. Okay. I just say that. <laughs> oh, oh. Okay, intelligent. No, please, <laughs> Okay, students, we are going to start. Before we, um, before we start all classes from today, we are going to read some objectives that we are going to do during the class. The first objective, please. Hector, could you read the first objective, please? We will identify some adjectives for describing physical appearance and personality. Oh, physical appearance. What's physical appearance? And we're going to identify later. The next, please. The next object, please. Yolanda, could you read me, please, the, the first one? We will write adjectives for describing physical appearance and personality using the activity strategy. Repeat again. Repeat again. Uh, describing physical and appearance. Wow, it's interesting objectives. The second one, please. Daniela, could you help me? The second one, please. We will listen to our partner predictions about the topic for the class. Thank you very much. The next one, Johnny, could you help me, please? Speaking. Uh, we will describe both plasmic physical appearance and personality. Wow. The number, the last one, please, Patricia. Yeah. Would you repeat? Yeah, of course. We will read perfect men and, wo and women using the GSOL strategy. Okay. Then we read, we read a lot of objectives. But in the only objectives, there is a specific phrase. What do you, what do you uh, assume that the class will be for today? Physical appearance. Then we are going to move. In general, we are going to talk about adjectives. The adjectives describe the physical appearance and appearance. Now, I am going to give you some sheets for everyone. Pass, take one and pass it. Wow, one part. As you can see this, this shit, this heart has two parts. Left part and right part. In the right part, you are going to write all the adjectives you remember. All the adjectives you remember. You have just one minute in order to do that. Go.
the general objective, no, no mention physical, no mention appearance, no, any object that you know. Did you finish? Yes. Okay, yes. pretty good, excellent, congratulations. Now, join with your partner and share your objectives in order to add more. Okay. Did you add more? Okay, there are more objectives than you know. Yeah? Did you finish? Yes. Did you finish everything? Yes. yes. Okay, congratulations. Now, we are going to do, please tell me, one adjective you, you have. One adjective. I have pretty, old, smart, beautiful, big, thick, and tall. Congratulations. Yolanda, could you tell me please one of, the, of those adjectives you have? Uh, small, long, short. Okay, congratulations. Now, in this moment I am going to give you one sheet of paper with a reading. Right? Take one and pass it. Take one. Okay, please, let's read, let's read in order to underline the adjective you identify. In the reading, there are some adjectives. Identify the adjectives, please. You have one minute. Did you finish? Yeah. Yes. yes. Good. Intelligent. Intelligent. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Once you have underlined the object, the adjectives in your text, please look at your sheet. Come back, please, to the heart. Do you remember the heart? Yes. And copy the adjectives that you underlined in the left hand. Sorry, in the right hand. Yeah. 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 Okay. No, in the connect, where it's mentioned connect part. Okay, in the connect part. Okay, now, as homework, as homework, you are going to use this heart with adjectives in the activation and from the connector in order to describe two famous persons. Do you know who is he? Messi. Who is Lionel Messi, right? Lionel Messi. Is he a sincere person? Is, a he, is he a sincere person? No. no. Can you see the sincerity in here in his face? No. 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 You have to write, describe the person using the adjectives that you have. Then, tomorrow, be punctual. Don't be late. We are going to start another interesting class.
Thank you very much.